Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Gameplay. We move on to week 6. Last week, well last video, which was yesterday, we clinched a playoff berth with the win. Our fifth win in a row. We're undefeated so far this season, which is good. We want to keep it going. We need three more wins. They don't have to be, you know, undefeated streak. Just three more wins in the next five games to get a playoff bye, which means, you know, just four playoff rounds and we skip the first one, the wildcard round, and we go straight to the divisional round and this does not help us do that Vincent Jackson third and four gets the first but then fumbles the ball and we lose that fumble there and already we give our opponent the ball with a chance to score some points to start the game off so that's a pretty twisted way to start the game you get the first you think you're doing good and then that happens so look at Luke Kikui that dude is like SWAT patrol out there getting that thing that was just I don't know how he does it sometimes. It's just Kikui, baby. Anyways, third down and five. My opponent runs the ball here, Reggie Bush. Trying to catch me a little bit off guard. We are prepared for the most part. Just kind of, you know, dude comes out in eye for him. Kind of sort of expect the run. And it is the run. And he takes a field goal. So instead of going for it on fourth and four, he plays it safe. And he gets the points that he was given the field position from that fumble recovery. So, you know, that worked out pretty well for us. We He got a first down, but other than that, not too much. And here, DeMarco Murray taking it to the outside, hitting the juke move. And DeMarco Murray is gone just like that DeMarco with the big time juke and the big time touchdown and we needed that we needed that after losing that fumble recovery I need something to bring my spirits up a little bit because that was a little bit saddening you know so um that's also really good there now all of a sudden he has to go on a long drive and we are just backing him up Thomas Davis with the sack next play he tries to hit me with another screen that goes absolutely nowhere third down he's forced to just chuck something up and that is just going absolutely nowhere and he's forced to punt the ball and now we're back in control of this game the one thing is he does get ball coming out of half so we keep that in mind here calling a little bit of play action lobbing it up to George Jordy Nelson and Andrew Luck with the dot way downfield for Nelson and Nelson gets the touchdown. I didn't have to lob it, honestly, it was kind of a dumb lob. But it looks kind of cool when it's actually completed. And look at Kikui. Swap patrol once again. Just going up high and swatting it down. That's what Ki that's Kikui football, man. That's Kikui defense right there. Unfortunately, second down, we're not able to control the running back at the backfield. For some reason, my players never move, so um he just got that. But next play, he tries to lob it up there. Definitely didn't help him that he lobbed it, and that just leaves it up there from Cromartie to get it. And Antonio Cromartie capitalizes on that opportunity. So we're rolling offensively now. And now all of a sudden, you know, after he got that one fumble, but now we're, you know, we're firing all cylinders right now. Second down and two. Can't find anybody open, but the pass rush is not look coming. And then I look way downfield, and there's Jordy. And look at Jordy skying up, and look at Jordy getting his second touchdown in the game. I was just like, all right, who's going to get open? Who's going to get open? And then Jordy was by himself, and it was just so perfect. He messed up a little bit, and then he messed up on offense here, throwing it at Terrence Newman, and Newman getting the pick. Newman trying to get it for a touchdown. Newman getting it for a good gain anyways. And let's get another touchdown, man. Let's get another one. Unfortunately, I missed my read there. I should have hit X there when he sent the all-out blitz instead. I stayed there for a little bit long when he sent the blitz, and we ended up taking the sack. We kind of get knocked out of field goal range. Third down and 20 upcoming. 20 seconds left, and we find Larry Fitz. It's Gerald for the first down, and we're back in business. Two timeouts, trying to get a touchdown here in at least field goal range. Throwing it across the field to Mike Wallace. Honestly, probably should have just thrown that one away of anything because that cost me a timeout. And because of that, here with six seconds left, trying to hit the spin with Andrew Locke, I have to use my last timeout here, so... You know, I could have potentially had an extra play, but I didn't just throw it to Mike Wallace there. Instead, we take the field goal. It's not really too big of a deal, though. I'm not really fretting because we're up right now, and he's not really proven that he can move the ball downfield offensively. And here you see he's panicking out the pocket with Cam. Looked like he had a dude open, so he stopped at the last second. Thomas Davis ended up knocking him down. Second down, 10. Once again, Cam might have been able to take off, but he throws it downfield and actually completes that one. Every dog has his day, I guess, because that was definitely not a good read. But second down and 10 here, Cam across the body, throwing an interception to Derek Johnson, and Derek Johnson taking it for six. And after that one fumble, it's just been highlight play after highlight play for us, whether it's a user pick or it's a DeMarco Murray big time run, a pick six by Derek Johnson, and uh, just like that's 31 nothing. and this game is completely out of control right now, and we just need to end this game, basically. And, be, and with the new true clock in it stuff that's in this game, whenever I get the ball, I'm putting that true clock on. I'm just going to get out this game as soon as I can. Take us both out of our misery. Since there's no concede defeat in head-to-head um, -head games, you can't really do that stuff, you know. I'll just try to save us some time and run clock a little bit because it's not really too, too much fun playing in blowout games like this. I mean, when I'm playing subscriber games and it's blowouts, it's one thing. You know, I'm okay with playing subscribers and stuff like that. But just regular games like this, it's not much fun. 
But um, at the same time, I could go for highlight plays like the Flea Flicker and stuff like this. But unfortunately, he comes screaming in and on Blitz there. Russell might have been able to actually complete that. Here's second down and 15. Look at Andrew Luck just squeezing that one in for Larry Fitzgerald. Beautiful accuracy by Luck who hasn't missed a pass. I believe he's like 7 for 7 or something like that. And this game is DeMarco Murray tries to get a, another highlight touchdown run. So I'm like, you know what, DeMarco? Have a halfback pass. Let's see what you can do. DeMarco Murray in the pocket, throwing it to Fitz. And Murray throws a touchdown pass. Fitzgerald fights his way to the end zone. And did you see DeMarco? He was under pressure when he made that throw. And he still delivered a dive. And of course, Fitz was able to fight for the extra yard to make that a touchdown instead of just a catch. That's a beautiful top 10 worthy play right there. We go up 38-3. to And we get the pick here. A little mini bait on the streak route there with Keekly. That's going to wrap this game up because I'm... Well, this game was wrapped up before, but now, you know, I'm definitely going to make sure we clock it out the rest of the way. Unless, you know, we could get a highlight touchdown. Here, third down 18. I wasn't doing a good job clocking. We call it a screen pass, anticipating blitz, and it works out to perfection. We get the first down, and we just let the clock run. He isn't even bothered calling his timeouts. He knows the situation. I know the situation, and I know we're coming out with the win here. So, hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this game. It's a phenomenal game all around, besides the first, like, 30 seconds. Um, leave a like for that. Subscribe for more. More Angel Luck gameplay where we go 8 for 8. And I will catch you guys next time.